Hello everyone, welcome to Lawrence Plays Dyson Sphere Programmer and you join me on the planet of Silly where it turns out I actually made a bit of a silly mistake last time. So I'd been watching my um, Dyson Sphere gradually growing and there'd been a really big healthy um, solar, no, uh, Dyson Swarm in the middle of here and so I thought, right, okay, um, encouraged by chat I, I would also like to say, <laughs> I decided it'd be a good idea to uh, temporarily turn these guns off to stop launching the um, stop launching the solar sails uh, because there were so many out there in the in, in the swarm that weren't getting absorbed into the into the sphere that I thought, well, we'll turn it off for a little while, then we can absorb all the older ones and we'll turn it back on again and, um, and actually finish the build off. No prizes for guessing which part of that I then forgot when I went off to go and try and improve other um, other other processes. So yes, we got to the point where yeah, we'd um, in fact we got to the point now where we've actually finished the entire uh, entire structure section of the Dyson sphere. So we're very very nearly there. All of these nodes completely finished. The entire thing is completely full. The rockets have stopped launching from Norvis. It's gone really really well. But then because I stopped launching the solar sails. The, it depleted all of the um, it depleted all of the solar sails in the in the swarm, and now I'm essentially having to re restock it all, which is why we can now see that they're starting to drift out again. You can see them arriving in 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 there inside the inside the sphere, and then they're flying out and and being and being gradually added in, filling in all these little gaps. So I am so so close. I've launched all the rockets I need to. Everything is done except that I just need to launch a few thousand more, or a few hundred thousand. I don't know how many. A, a lot more of these, um, of these, uh, of these solar cells in order to get the thing absolutely finished. So yes, very, very nearly there. One of the other things that I, I realised, again, feeling a little bit daft, is that for some reason I'm doing the um, the titanium production is all being done on Silly. Now it's called Silly because it's a silicon planet, and out. Here is called Titan because it's the titanium planet. But for, as I say, for some reason, I think it's because there was um, there was a decent amount of titanium on this planet as well. I thought, you know what, let's do both. Let's do this. Have the silicon production over here and the titanium production over here. And so that's how I set it up. Um, the, so I, I then went out to Titan. I then realised that I'd run out of titanium more or less completely over on Norvis. So I decided it'd be a good idea to uh, to to, uh, to put in some more production. So first, and after, actually, I'd run out of silicon as well. So I came out to um, I came out to Silly, built up this system here, which is quite nice. I, I'm pleased with this. It's my sort of bait, sta fairly standard basic design in that you've got you've got your tower shooting out lots and lots of lots and lots of silicon and because of the level of upgrades and science shenaniganery I've done this is now being stacked up to by the looks of it stacked up to four um oh no wait that's the other that's the other side over here yes it's coming out of here um and it's stacked up to two because of the level of technology I've, I've, I've achieved let's let's actually go over and look at it properly yeah, so in here you can see it's coming out stacked up to a two high, then it's going through these stackers to get it up to four high, which means I can then use green belts over here. And I did that simply because I had didn't have enough in, enough blue belts with me. Once you got to the point of having blue enough blue belts, you could just build the entire thing out of blues. And I do now have lots and lots of them, so I could upgrade it, but you know it ain't broke, so I'm not going to fix it. Then that just sweeps down down the middle of all of these smelteries, um, and all of these the, these are all making up massive quantities. Uh, they're taking in all of the. Um, the quad stacks, the quad stacks of uh, of silicon ore are going in, and they're coming out with single stacks of silicon. Which, because it's a two to one recipe, we've then got two belts combining, uh, building that up. So we've got, so we've got, four, essentially got four going in and two coming out because they're split into two like this. Then over here, they're getting stacked and stacked and stacked, so we can then pass them in, in over here. So we've got four stacks of silicon, quad stacks of silicon ore coming out over there, effectively, and we've got quad stacks going in here, and it's yeah, that's working pretty well I'd say we are we, we now have as you can see we now have more silicon than we know what to do with so that's gone really nicely elsewhere on this planet and we needed all this silicon because elsewhere on this planet uh, yes you no not you this is where we're, this is where we're making the green motors somewhere else on this planet I'm sure yes here we go here I'm making the, um, the the processors and the quantum processors and this gets through a lot of silicon because you're making all of the you're making loads and loads of these electronic components you can see that flowing in there merrily at a, a quad belt of it going going in and being painted as well um, and so this from where I'm standing over just over here um, they're quite regularly getting yeah we're getting the little bots that are flying in they're grabbing it 140 at a time so I've done a bit more research now so we're getting 140 into each bot uh, they're grabbing it they're taking it away as, as the bots do and flying it over here so let's follow that one 
because they yes as I say they're flying it over here but I discovered on down on Norvis where I'm making the rockets I was also not only was I short of the uh, quantum processors I was also short of the the generic basic processors and so I um, essentially I copy and pasted this chunk of machinery from here put it in over here fed it in exactly the same way and so this has doubled the amount of processors that I'm producing but I haven't increased the amount of quantum processors so that means that now we have a healthy healthy supply of, of processors here and a healthy healthy supply of quantum processors over here and the reason these are so healthy is because well I've um I finished my Dyson Sphere, so uh, the, the rockets have stopped launching, so we've stopped using all this stuff up. So all of this building work was a bit, uh, a little bit unnecessary. However, there's one more, th one more thing I want to show you before I get head off to Norvis. And if you have, a, have another quick look at this, rec um, make a note of, of, of this sort of shape, because I'm going to zip off to Titan over here, uh, set up the indicator like that, and then I can go. Where's the planet? There's the planet. We're going to go this way, up into space, and speed up. Titan is uh, that one. And now I'm going to do more than 300, so jump up and walk speed. It's not very far, but you know, I'm going to walk over here. And this this one up landed in exactly the right place. So this 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 assembly here will look very very similar because I just did I, I did a complete direct copy paste. So over here we've got exactly the same thing. We've got a um, we've got Titan titanium ore flooding in here we've got exactly the same smelting system because it's also a two to one recipe in fact i made a blueprint of this so we have here we have a silicon smeltery which is a, a two to one but you can copy it and you can downgrade or you can swap it over to making titanium instead if you want nice and easy and then that's doing exactly the same sort of thing over here so we've now got a tower full of titanium so we've got loads and loads of that and now there is actually titanium being produced on titan which is nice because that seems like the obvious thing you'd be doing there Interestingly, when I came over to, to, to work on this, I discovered there's also this system here making the processors. Apparently it's not making them very quickly though, because, well, we didn't have enough. And now looking at it again, we can see it's, it's because everything in here, it's, it's all, this is all old technology, it's all made with yellow belts. Um, we're doing, yeah, we're doing a little bit of stacking over here to get slightly more um, iron ore coming through, but you can see the rate that's flowing out, it's not particularly high. Uh, everything around here is made out of yellow belts, so we've got these little setups of, um, of, of smelteries whereas the ones I've been doing elsewhere have now been moving on to green or blue belts so we'd have literally four times as much resource flowing through and it's just generally much much more effective and productive uh, so yes that was um <laughs> this this was a bit of a surprise to find because I didn't realize I was making processes out here it just turns out whilst I am I'm making them very very slowly and also with the relatively slow machines these are assembly machine twos not assembly machine threes uh, now that is only an extra they're only an extra 50% faster but you know it does all add up. I was also reminded that there are um, uh, these things, the uh, plane smelters, which are basically uh, smelting machine Mark IIs. The problem with these is they take smelt well, Mark I smelter, sure, they take uh, uh, frame material, sure, no problem. They take a load of plane filters, I can deal with that, but they also take unipolar magnets and well, uh, let's just say we couldn't find any of that. Uh, I had, had a look around in the um, in, in, in the map, zoom, 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 zoom. Looked at all of the reasonably close spy stars. No, um, no magnetic monopoles. No magnetic monopoles, or whatever it calls them. Uh, unipolar magnets, or whatever it was. They just don't seem to, to exist anywhere nearby. So I went around. I, I clicked on lots of random um, suns like this, just going. Well, I wonder if there's any of them around. But no, they just. I couldn't find any, so basically I gave up and decided it's, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. I'd just carry on using more of the basic smelting machines. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. You don't, apart from the fact they run twice as far, or a bit faster, and therefore you don't need quite as many of them. I don't think there's any actual advantage to using um, the higher uh, um, higher tier machines. It's not like in Factorio where you can. Um, uh, put more modules in them and get therefore get better productivity out of them. So I think it's not actually a problem. That, uh, go where I want you to. It's so it's not actually a problem that I wasn't really able to to use them. It just meant I ended up with bigger bigger designs, uh, bigger builds, and wouldn't be able to do it. Wouldn't be able to do outputs by just going out there and um, and slapping down high, higher higher tier machines. So yes, back over on on Norvis. We'll fight if we drop down. Drop down, please. Thank you. <laughs> Right around here, you'll see all of these. These have all been upgraded. So, well, actually, these haven't. I apparently did not did not need these ones to be upgraded. And um, these have all been upgraded to the blue ones, the Mark Threes. We've got all of these rocket launch silos here that are just sitting there twiddling their proverbials and just going, "Well, I don't need to launch anything. Um, <laughs> you, 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 it's full." So that means now all of my all of my um, 
product production problems that we were seeing over here where we were trying I was trying to load up all of these things um, just trying to keep all these full they're mostly okay we're still a bit short of the um of these things the frame materials though which is interesting because we are still trying to summon lots and lots of those and I thought I'd mostly fix that problem um, but apparently not but what I what I could do is I could come over here and say well you know what while we've got all these things we could say let's 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 make another Dyson sphere shall we let's make it uh, and make another Dyson shell so we'll get rid of that and that over here we'll, we'll uh, add a new layer and we'll make it a little bit whoop. I said we'll add a new layer yeah okay there we go it's a little bit it's a bit bigger uh, let's do that sure why not <laughs> it's at a funny angle as well again sure why not um, so I could come along here now and say oh, well I want to start setting up um, setting up another grid so just go around here and actually now I should be using this tool shouldn't I so we go from there to there to there and so on. And now, if, if we do this, then presumably this means we can start launching more rockets. Although it's quite possible that I might need to um, fix the uh, the launch machines, to, uh, the silos, to start launching rockets to a different uh, sphere. Because I remember when I was when I was just using Dyson swarms, you had oh no, look, there's a massive flood of rockets coming out to build up the uh, the new sphere. So. Yeah, and it might be interesting to see how much quicker I can build the second sphere than the first one. In fact, maybe I'll leave this running while we're doing the science, because I did say I wanted to get the sphere finished and the science finished, and we'll see how far this gets. Um, I'm not going to carry on doing this on the on, on stream uh, on, on in the video because that's not going to be particularly interesting. But yes, we can now launch. We can now start launching the rockets very very quickly um, because they've all got a load of them buffered in them. So these are presumably going to yeah, there's, every one of these has got 20 in it. So these are all. Wow, look at that. They're all launching in perfect sync. That is amazing. <laughs> They'll be able to do that another sort of 20-something times as they deplete everything on all of the belts. But once they've done that, then they'll then start to be a bit more scattered. But as it is, that, that looks incredible. <laughs> and there they go. We'll just take a moment to enjoy that. I've, I've, that I've just launched an entire new constellation into the sky. <laughs> There we go, Ooh, and another another salvo of rockets, and of course, there's still the steady stream of the um, of the solar sails flying out over there. Anyway, so the things, the other things I was going to show you about on on, on this planet, I had to add in a bit more power generation because we actually started to use it all up. Um, I added in some more paint production because that was very very short. So let's have a look in this tower over here, out of curiosity. And we've now got mm, we've got full of we're basically full of blue. The green is going down a little bit, but don't press the don't press escape, Lawrence. You, you you know better than that by now. Right over here. So yes, we've got the, the tower is okay. So over here, I put in an extra two. Um, I think I put in two more uh, of these paint produce production modules here, and then another two round here. So on to, so that was almost no, that was an actually a doubling of the speed I'm producing it at. And it turns out that is now plenty. We seem to have we seem to have loads. The um, I've only I've still only got the one row of producing the blue paint over here. But again, it seems to be fine. We are because there aren't that many places that are using the blue paint. So now we seem to be seem to be okay with this. It's running nicely. I'm not going to mess with it because it seems to basically be okay. <laughs> uh, I did it again. I pressed escape. So the other thing that's been a problem recently was over here. This this production system here, where um, this bit, as you may or may not remember, is producing the, uh, the, the the these titanium frame shell things that are being used by lots and lots of the rocketry stuff and the advanced Dyson sphere stuff and things like that. So we had a problem. We weren't producing anything like enough of the uh, the titanium alloy, which is this this triple stack bar thing over here, uh, to keep this happy because that was needed in lots of blue, and we're still not producing it fast enough. So that's that, that's the thing that obviously needs to be tweaked at some point. Um, we're struggling with the bucky tube, struggling with the and. The Silicon was probably okay. These, yeah, these things are still still a massive struggle. We're not making these fast enough. So if I do decide I want to carry on any further, I'm going to need to increase this a lot uh, to, to, on a fairly massive scale. But the things I've done here that make this relevant and interesting is I've completely stopped making the um, sulfuric acid here on this planet because I went out to another planet. In the in the in the Beetlejuice system over here, um, so let's view that. And we have out here we have um, we have Lucy. Why was that called Lucy? Oh yes, because we we yes this one this is an ocean this this planet has a sulfuric acid ocean. So let's go over and have a look at that because that seems like a good idea. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a longer flight. It is seven and a half light years away, but I think we can do that reasonably quickly with the uh, with the warp drive. So we'll get up to um, a decent speed. I wonder if you warp faster if you accelerate further before you actually start going. I don't I have no idea. I sort of imagine probably not, because I think the warp speed is, is fixed by the amount of warp research you've done. Um, yeah, it's still 0.3 light years per second, so 
I don't think that's changed. But yeah, out here we have the planet called Beetle Juice. So the, the, uh, the, this was this was named after it in a rather convoluted way. So um, what happened was we. I, I usually try and get chat to name my planets because it, it's, you know it's crowdsourcing. It, they're more likely to come up with some sort of good pun than if I try and do things on my own. So um, we had a planet that we were getting obtaining acid from. So uh, someone decided I should call it Lucy after the uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds song. Uh, the initials of which uh, may well may or may not be a, um, a reference to some of the Beatles' hobbies. Uh, personally, I'm more, I'm more of a fan of Brenda everywhere eating um, raisins. Ruby, no, rubies would work better for the rest of the uh, rest of the, <laughs> the song title. Uh, yes, so uh, so yeah, we came out here. We started and, and started. Yes, this, this is a good place to land. Touch down here, please. Boom, like that. Right, so here we have a lake of sulfuric acid and a load of pumps bleeding into it, just pumping out the acid as, as fast as they can, which is far faster than necessary, <laughs> and loading it all up into this tower here. And so that we've then got the, um, the, 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 the these these things uh, the, the warpers in here. So we can use the we can use our spaceships in long range mode. They can grab a, a big stack of acid or a big bucket of acid, I suppose, and then fly it off back over to uh, Norvis, where we can then use it for various things. So there are a few recipes that use acid, and, and these are all and uh, and making acid itself is really really annoying um, because it takes about four different inputs. Whereas here here it is. Uh, yeah, so you need you need refined oil, which is a problem because I didn't have enough of that being produced. Uh, I could have made it from hydrogen, but I wasn't. But you could have done. Uh, you need stone as well, and you need water. Water's not too bad as long as you're on a watery planet. You can just pump it straight out of a lake. Uh, stone again, not too bad, but it was the oil that was the pain. And then having to bring all of those together and in large quantities, it, it, it was a faff. So being able to just dig it, uh, pull it out of a lake with a pump is much easier. And interestingly, it's the same. You use exactly the same pumps. These things are uh, they're, they're, they're water pumps, but they're quite happy with acid as well. Doesn't seem to do them any harm whatsoever. But also very interestingly, where is it? Here we go. This one. So graphene. I'd started off making graphene back on Norvis in the way you have to when you start. So you turn coal into energetic graphite. Fine. You make carbon in that difficult, frustrating way that I was talking about earlier. Uh, fine. You mix the acid and the carbon, and you get graphene. Okay. Uh, then you discover this recipe where you go out, leave the, you leave the solar system, you go out, you find the candy floss or the fire ice. Um, <laughs> it does occur to me that it's not actually fuzzy like candy floss, it's just sort of, it, it's uh, sublimating out and, and turning into carbon dioxide or something like that, who knows really. Uh, but anyway, you, you, you dig up a load of this stuff and then you, uh, you process it in a chemical plant and you get graphene and a load of excess hydrogen as well, which you then probably burn in a power station to power the whole system. And so that, that I, I switched over to making the graphene in that method because it's much, much easier. However, once you've got a free supply of easy supply of acid, the sulfuric acid here, you can then go back to this recipe and go, actually, this isn't so bad. Instead of going out and finding weird resources like um, uh, uh, like uh, the, the fire ice and then producing a load of hydrogen that you don't really want all that much, you can instead then just go in and go, well, actually, instead, I'm going to just turn, turn the coal into graphene into, and mix it with this acid. Boom, instant graphene. Very, very easy. And somewhere in this planet, planet system, um, I think I renamed it. Apparently I've not renamed the planet, which is annoying. Oh, so so yes, the uh, the star got renamed to Beetlejuice because it start, because it's an obvious pun and with the uh, uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds being a Beatles song. So there we go. That's that's the, um, the rest of that story. So let me see if I can find the other planet that I went to. It wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. Maybe. Yeah, it must have been this one. Must be probably this one. Let's go and let's go and check it because you know it's always nice to go for a bit of a flight and see and see it see a whole see a um, a whole new world. I'm not going to start singing mostly because I don't know any of that song apart from the uh, the first line. <laughs> so we'll go over there at high speed. There we go. And then we can take a look at Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. I don't know what happens if we say his name four times because over here we've got um oop, touchdown boom. Oh no, this is no. This is something different. Actually, this is not what I was thinking of. This is another place where we're digging up the stalag uh, the uh, uh, the uh, stalactite sp spiniform stalagmite crystals. That's what they're called. There, so we've got them being dug up in on this con uh, planet in in fairly large quantities. We're dumping them straight out onto a belt here. It turned out this planet had quite a lot of them on it, but they were all in one single vein over here. So I thought, well, let's just dig them all up from here. Shoving them onto a belt here, and then these are easily turned into into the uh, into the carbon nanotubes or the bucky tubes as I've been calling them, and so we can then chuck those into again chuck them into a tower, take them away, and that's 
I believe that has solved my bucky tube problem. However, it seems my um, bucky sheet problem is not as quite as solved as I thought. So I am, I think, going to have to do the digging up massive quantities of coal, pulling in some um, sulfuric acid, probably from that other planet in the solar system, and then combining those together in order to make a lot more of the uh, the, um, the bucky sheets that, I, that I'm going to need back on Norvis. So. I'm saying all this in a sort of somewhat questioning tone because I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to do because I am fairly close to finishing off everything I want to do. So over here, we look, we can look at the researchers and I said I was going to do all of them, all of the non-infinite ones. So we can see five, seven, that's not, that's, 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 that's an infinite one and I've done the first infinite. That's an infinite and I've done the first one. Five, seven, again, five to seven, five to seven, yeah, down here. Seven to ten, yes, done that one. Let's eight, done that one. Um, so down here, that's 8 to 11, 5 to 7, research speed, okay, so we've got a research speed down here, that's the one that's currently being done. But then there's these two, there's these funny ones over here, so um, that's an infinite one, so I don't really, into, oh, or is it? I'm not really quite sure. These two, though, still need to be done, and that requires me to get logistics carrier capacity level 11. So I actually do need to do this one, so that I can then do this one. And presumably this one requires 13, so I'm going to need to do that one and the one after it in order to do that one. Once I've done all of this nonsense, then I will finally have finished all of the non-infinite researches and I can actually call the game done. And so at this point we're going to see whether whether it takes longer to do all of this science or whether it takes longer to build another another layer on the on the on the uh, Dyson sphere because you know I feel like I might as well just build another one while while I'm at it. Uh, I could build it around another sun, but that seems like more effort, so I'm not going to do that. So we'll leave this we'll leave this running for a bit, see how long it takes, and yes, I'll probably build up another another system for producing large quantities of graphene, maybe on this planet because it's it's here, it's got space, it's got a crazy amount of coal. If we look at the look at this planet, it's got 16 million coal. So this seems like a good one to do the uh, do do anything that involves coal on it, and the acid is inside the same solar system as well, so it'll be a bit quicker, slightly quicker to fly it over. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, so we can make a massive quantity of that. Shove it, also shove it into this tower here, um, and then that can be just shipped back off to uh, to Norvis as as everything else is. Uh, and I need to, of course, we're, we're, well, while I'm doing this sort of thing, I need to make sure I've got plenty of these space warpers, which I have far more than we, far more than are actually needed here. So we can then ship them over to uh, use the. You, uh, so we can then use the, uh, the the logistics vessels in very long range mode, where they fly out, use the warp drive, and we'll go off to wherever they're needed. So let's see, how is my Dyson Sphere doing? Let's have a look at Kalidus. Um, okay, so we've got quite a lot of the, um, the, the the perimeter is looking like it's already been built. That's impressive. This one, we're actually starting to form a um, a Dyson Swarm again. So the sp interestingly, the speed we are launching the sails at is faster than the speed we are capable of absorbing them at, even even now, because probably because, because the thing is nearly finished. So I guess that means I can start saying things like, well, I would like to um, fill, I would like to fill in uh, this block here, and then we'll have a load in the shell, probably, in the swarm, and they, we can start pulling those out into, into this shell as well. And we, yeah, yeah, we can start actually trying to build the second, um, the second shell all the way around here. So that's going to be um, interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, I can't tell whether the from here, I can't tell whether they're still being pulled out faster, whether they're being made available faster than they're being used up or not. We've still got these huge sprays of rockets taking off, so that's absolutely awesome. Right. Um, so, yes, that is my Dyson Sphere. That is my science. That is my current progress in this game. Things are going very well, I think. We are, we've are. made a Dyson Sphere, and we're starting to make a Dyson Ring of, of, of sorts as well. This needs a, quite a lot more building into it, but, yeah, it's going... It's going. It's going well, I think. So uh, I think we'll we will we will now be a race between the science system and the um, and the Dyson Sphere building system to see whether see how far which which bits gets where first. And um, I hope you'll come along on Wednesday. That should be well maybe be the last stream of the um, of the series because I, I mean I've, I've been saying this for a while, but maybe I'll actually manage to finish it next time. <laughs> Everything just takes that little bit longer than you expect. But we've managed to do this much in half an hour, maybe so in in, in three or four hours. Maybe, maybe I will, especially if I start making more uh, bucky sheets and more titanium and whatever else it is I'm short on. So, yes, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be, as I say, I'll be back on Wednesday with some more of this. There won't be any, well, I was going to say there won't be a, um, 
uh, a Factorio stream on Monday, but today is Monday because of uh, Christmas shenaniganery. So uh, yes, there isn't a, there isn't a, a Factorio stream today. Sorry about that. Um, it's Boxing Day. Nobody's around. Uh, but next week things will be uh, will be back to normal. So there will be uh, the normal um, Factorio space exploration and uh, Crasturio 2 stream on next Monday. Uh, the videos will there might be a bit there'll be a bit of a oddity in the videos next weekend. I. I haven't really planned exactly what's going to happen yet. We shall see. Um, but uh, yeah, there will be lots of lots of videos coming out. I hope you watched the uh, GTA video last yesterday, the Christmas special um, of Manhunt Checkpoint. That was that was that was a good run. It went it went so so, but it was it was good fun anyway. Uh, which is what we aim for with these things. I, I I recommend watching those videos. They're they're quite different from the rest of the stuff on the channel, but they're a lot of fun. So um, yes, I, I would uh, I would, would recommend picking that up. And there's lots and lots of other stuff on the channel as well. I'll try and get some more tutorials out and other uh, real worldy videos over the next few days. Right, so as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll be coming back for the next one. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel, etc. Et oh, and check out the uh, channel sponsor, that's 34.be. They will host a uh, server for you to running um, Minecraft, uh, Factorio, whatever other games you like to play. So check them out there. They're really, really good value, really cheap. Uh, yeah, I, they seem to be good. Um, as ever, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.